Hello and welcome to Instablogs Global Reports. This is Sukhmani with fresh updates and more citizen voices from all over the world. Stories for the day are India gives Mumbai attack evidence to Pakistan. Sri Lanka's Tamil rebels face an imminent defeat. Afghanistan's fledgling economy battling with corruption. And NC Soft accused of violating MMOG patent. India has handed over the evidence linking the deadly Mumbai attacks to elements within Pakistan. Our CJ Aditya Chauhan wants Pakistan to immediately act on the evidence and dismantle the terror groups operating from its soil. This is Aditya Chauhan, city generalist reporting from India on Instablogs. Until now, Pakistan successfully evaded any action against the terror suspects operating from its soil on the pretext that India never shared the evidence with Pakistan. Now, with the facts provided to them, including material from the interrogation of Muhammad Ajmal Amir Kasab, the sole surviving gunman from the attacks, who is in Indian custody, Pakistani authorities must act immediately to dismantle the terrorist network. Pakistan must understand the terror groups operating from its soil pose a threat both to the international peace and security of the entire world and its own. Therefore, instead of beating the war drums and rejecting the Indian acquisitions as mere speculation, Pakistan must act fast to rein in terror groups. Driven from the northern headquarters of Kilinochi, the Tamil Tigers face an imminent defeat at the hands of the Sri Lankan army. CJ Sureshwa criticizes the Sri Lankan government for gross violation of human rights during the course of the offensive. This is Sujeshwa reporting on Instablogs from United Kingdom. Sri Lankans may rejoice their victory, but their sense of elation will not last for long. The government has already earned itself a bad press by denying the access to the media from the war zone. The war has been marked by appalling human rights abuses by both sides, including hundreds of disappearances and alleged murder of Tamil youths by the government agents. The government has blocked aid agencies making effort to bring relief. Sinhalese chauvinists have always bullied Tamils by denying them even the modest regional autonomy promised by the Sri Lankan constitution. The Tamils can never forget the atrocities perpetrated upon them by the Sri Lankans. Soon, the Tamil resistance shall rise its head and achieve its dream of a Tamil homeland. Widespread corruption is endangering the Afghan democracy. It is not only eroding the public confidence in the government of Afghanistan, but also assisting in resurgence of Taliban. CJ Kramuddin Bahram from Kabul reports on how corruption has seeped into every aspect of Afghan governance. This is a Kramuddin citizen journalist reporting from Kabul on Slugs.com. Afghanistan's democratically elected government of President Ahmed Karzai is fast losing ground to large-scale corruption and misuse of power. Any governmental services come with bribe, locally known as Shreeni, which means sweetener, bribe manifests in many forms. From the lowest person right to the top officials of the government are the recipients of this bribe. President Karzai's brother himself is believed to be deeply involved in large-scale corruption, particularly in a heroin trade that goes unnoticed due to his black relation with the top man of the country. This corruption, according to Afghans, doesn't have a long history since the Kamenists who ruled Afghanistan in the 1980s were far honest than the Mujahideen of the 1990s and the present setup. Complaints of corruption in small and large things could be heard everywhere in Kabul. Common citizens are fast losing their confidence in the government of President Hamid Karzai, which obviously is a very bad news for the president, since he intends to run for second term for the office of the president of Afghanistan in April of this year. Worlds.com, one of the founders of the multi-user graphic online domain, has filed potentially significant patent infringement suit against NCSoft. CJ Taylor Flats says that it is a bold move by a company eager to come out of the woodwork. This is Taylor Flats, citizen journalist reporting from the U.S. on Instablox. MMO giant NCSoft has been accused of infringing on patents put in place by Worlds.com. Worlds.com claims NC Soft's products infringe on their system and method for enabling users to interact in a virtual space patent. Of all NC Soft's games, the most notable are Guild Wars, Lineage, City of Heroes, and City of Villains. In my opinion, this is a bold move by a company that has just now decided to come out of the woodwork. I ask about one question. Why now? Could it be greed? No. I think it is something else possibly trying to prove a point that these big companies can be challenged. 
a smart move on World's part for going after NC before they even tried Blizzard. With a win under their belt, it will give them more extra leverage when trying their luck against a multi-billion dollar company. Good luck, Worlds. The hopes and dreams of 10 million WoW players are now on your shoulders. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let Instablogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com. That's all for today's show. We'll be back with fresh updates and more citizen voices. Till then, it's goodbye from the entire team of Global Report.